Greetings everyone, my name is Dom and in this video we're going to be discussing Vega and looking into what their plans are for their new lineup of cards and why they're taking so damn long to release them into the hands of consumers. Because a few months ago there was all of this hype surrounding Vega, there was a promotional advertisement, there was gameplay of Vega running on Doom at 4K and Battlefield 1, uh, there was a little kid beating a drum and that all seemed to die down pretty quickly. The hype disappeared right after Nvidia announced their 1080 Ti and I believe this was intentional. Before I start this video, I just want to announce the winners of the giveaway for this game, Mirage Arcane Warfare. Now, back when I announced it, there was only a couple keys in which I could give away, but I asked the devs if they could spare a few more and they obliged me with a metric fuck ton of them. The following people have won the keys. Ziff, Mr. Bubbles V2, Avatar, Johnny G, GNGG, Dave, Bad Boy 0404, Snickers, <laughs> Salim Imran, Incentive and Gil. Congrats to you guys. Comment down below to say you won and then email me. You can find that in my about section and then I'll email you back your keys. Anyone who doesn't collect their key will have two weeks to contact me until I just put them out there for the first person to find it. If you weren't here when I started the giveaway then no worries because I've got something else that may cheer you up. Welcome to the Tripe Benefit System. This is your chance to win a free game of your choice no matter how long you've been sub for. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and then comment down below the indicating word in a funny or peculiar sentence. You will then gain an entry into the giveaway, and if you win, you tell me what game you want, and it can be any game available. You'll then receive the key. Today's indicating word is conflate. Enter this down below to gain an entry. You can gain more entries by sticking with the channel, sharing my videos, and commenting each word on every new release. This leads to getting much better chances compared to those who only comment once or twice. Winner will be picked around the middle of each month, and good luck to the winner. Now, let's continue with the video. So first, to understand AMD's strategy with Vega, we need to look into how powerful RX Vega might actually be. Here we've got a leaked screenshot of RX Vega up against the likes of the GTX 1070, 1080 and 1080 Ti. In the graph, the supposed top-end Vega card is seen getting 11% better performance than the GTX 1070, however it is topped out by the GTX 1080 by 5% and the 1080 Ti by 27%. AMD released a statement saying RX Vega would go up against the likes of the GTX 1080 and 1080 Ti. I think what AMD actually meant by this was that it would beat it out in price to performance. That was what their whole marketing scheme was about after all, it was liberating the low end users with cheap but powerful cards and I believe now they're doing the same for high end cards. I don't expect RX Vega to outperform the 1080 Ti, I never have, I always thought it would be level with a 1080 and it seems my assumptions were correct. I believe the reason that there's no news around Vega and the fact that its phantom release date has now become a meme on AMD subreddit lies with the release of the R9 Fury X. The R9 Fury X was AMD's last high-end GPU and its release was just, well, pretty awful. If you remember back then, AMD built up so much hype about how it was going to be the overclocker's dream with built-in water cooling and how everyone thought it was going to be beating out the 980 Ti. But in reality, the Fury X didn't outperform the 980 Ti didn't overclock at all and the only reason it had water cooling was to counter its hot GPU core and to make it seem like a more premium product. But even that was messed up in use as the pump noise was horrifically bad. What I believe AMD are doing is learning from their mistakes with the Fury X and they're playing it safe. They are literally killing the hype for their cards because they know it won't outperform 1080 Ti or even the 1080 and they know people will be disappointed by that. If people aren't as hyped for Vega, if they kill their marketing and then release it softly then it will actually sell more as people's expectations will be much lower. So more bad news for Vega is that its life cycle is going to be fairly short too, due to Volta possibly getting launched earlier than expected. Nvidia definitely has the upper hand here as I doubt they'll give AMD much of a chance to have their light. If you ask me, they should have released Vega before the 1080 Ti as then the expectations wouldn't have been as high to anticipate better performance. Although, perhaps with the time that they've taken between the release of the 1080 Ti up until the launch of Vega, which is set to be soon, they may have refined the top end card a bit more. Perhaps to get it launched with a decent BIOS to allow a higher overclocking potential, so it may even match or beat out the GTX 1080. I have no doubt RX Vega will be good, and will bring some decent 1080 level performance for a much better price. But for the enthusiasts that were hoping for a card that could restore AMD's reputation by outperforming Nvidia's 1080 Ti, while remaining within reach of a decent price, you're not really in luck. To reiterate my estimations on Vega, I think it will match the GTX 1080 in performance and may be able to possibly overclock to beat it. I don't believe it will beat out the 1080 Ti, I believe it will be cheaper than the GTX 1080 is right now, and finally, I do believe it will come out soon. Well, it kinda needs to to escape being made obsolete by Volta. 
Before I close out this video, I just want to inform you guys on a brand new PC I've been working on. This is the Ryzen 7 1800X GTX 1080 PC build, and I will have a link in the description to it if you want to check it out. If budget is more your thing, I've done a video on a 4K 60fps gaming PC that only costs £400. This will be linked also. But anyway guys, I hope this has given you a lot to think about, and I do hope you guys let me know your opinions down in the comments below. Do you think my assumptions are accurate, or do you believe there is another reason behind all of this? Thank you so much for watching this video, if you did like it then do show your appreciation by tapping the like button. I love your face, and I will see you guys in the next one. Terra.